Welcome back to Access Hollywood Live. A new study from dating site OKCupid found that June is the most popular month for one night stands. Oh, let's get it on. <laughs> Dr. Jen Mann, author of The Relationship Fix, joins us now. Why June, doctor? Well, I think for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a very transient time. It's mm. a time when people are going on vacation and we do things on vacation we don't do at other times of our lives. People are also getting summer jobs, internships, they're leaving school, all that sort of stuff really makes us a little more likely to take a risk and have a one night stand. Mm. You know, the other thing is it's a more relaxed time. Yeah. That when we're stressed out, we tend to be less focused on sex. A lot of companies let people leave early during the summers or have like a half day on Friday. And then a really interesting Danish study found mm. that the testosterone levels of men rises in the summer. Why? Well, there's more flesh yeah. being exposed, There's more flesh right? being exposed and also the heat and the daylight. They believe that it has to do with the actual amount of daylight oh. that is available and that it kind of the way it triggers the brain and the testosterone to be produced. But I think that, that has a, that's probably a big factor. What's the benefit of a one night stand? Well, I think for a lot of people to actually get to explore your sexuality, you know, one of the mm -hmm. things that I see in my practice a lot, unfortunately, is that when people are in long-term relationships, they're more afraid to do things and experiment because, well, I have to see you tomorrow. I have to look you in the eye. We're gonna be sitting yeah. over cornflakes with our kid at breakfast. So, oh, I can't say that to my husband. Oh, I can't ask my wife to do that. So a lot of the time people in a one night stand are willing to explore things that they aren't in a long-term relationship, and that needs to change. Yeah. We really need to be willing to explore those things with our partner and take those risks and not judge each other in the bedroom. The one-night stand does not equal a long-term relationship, but is there a benefit to having them to then have a one? I mean, to have a long-term relationship? Look, sometimes it, yeah. it happens. I, I know a couple that's been married for over 50 years that it all started with a one-night oh, stand. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so mm. you just, you never know. I think a lot of the time we like rules. We tend to be, say like, oh, one-night stands never lead to long-term relationships. Look, I'm not saying it's a good way to start one, but sometimes it happens. You never know. What about, so if June is good for one night stands, what's the good, is there a good month for long term? Is it like winter months where you're <laughs> yeah. by the fire oh, going well, down? According to this OKCupid okay study, the fall is what they the call fall, the I cuffing love. time, which oh, is when we tend the to. The cuffing time? Yes. I, wow. I have a feeling it has to do with handcuffs, but. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Dr. Jen. <laughs> I think in the negative way, not the positive way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do think that people in the fall are looking for partners because the holidays are coming. And I can't tell tell you how often in my practice people are panicking before the mm -hmm. holidays going, I need someone I can bring with me to Thanksgiving dinner. I need someone for Christmas dinner. I want to have a date for New Year's. I want to have someone for Valentine's Day. Sometimes we need a body shield <laughs> with our families True. when we're heading into holiday season. We're, we're going to be around them a lot. It's also the time when people break up, too, because like, I don't want to buy that guy a gift. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, like, interestingly, the studies yeah. that I've read have shown that between, like, right before Valentine's Day to summer is a big breakup time. Oh. So, and the fall tends to be a get together time. You know, I people like make it through the holidays and then they're like, yeah, I'm reassessing, not so much. Yeah. I'm gonna take a pass on this one next. <laughs> and something with summer with the weather and it just yeah. feels good. The rosé is the rosé. Exactly. Hormones are raging. Exactly, and I, look, it's hot. It's warm, people are dressed more scantily clad. Yeah. So like, it kind of gets us in the mood and I think there's kind of an association of we're out there, it's more like hot, sweaty sex. So like, <laughs> okay, it's Okay, doctor, man, good stuff. I love Thank the month you. of June.